Hello and thank you for joining this video. Today we're going to talk about how to e-file a T2 return. Before opening a return, we will first like to set up our e-file number and password. To do so, you will first need to click on the gear icon on the top right where it says text setting. Here, you can enter the information needed for your e-file number and also your password. You can also enter your prepare information on the prepare tab. Once all set up, you can go ahead, click on the save button. And now you can go to the return where we're trying to e-file. For us, it will be Craig Landscaping. So go ahead and click on view return. Before e-filing, you will first need to check your auditor tab on your left side. Make sure that all your warnings and issues are all fixed. You can fix these warnings and issues by clicking on them and it will bring you to where the issue is. Or you can just check mark the warning or the issue. When your auditor is fixed, you can directly go to e-file on the top right. Click on it and you will see a drop down. This drop down will show you all the different forms that can be e-filed. If you're trying to e-file the T2 jacket, go ahead and click on the T2 further on. It will bring you to the e-file menu. If you look at the further summary here, it gives you a quick summary of your T2 before e-filing. So you can have a look on the numbers and just make sure that everything looks correct. Here we'll ask you your e-file number and password. But uh, since we already set up the e-file information, those fields will auto-populate. Just to let you know, uh, for the T2 jacket, there's two different options to e-file. You can e-file using an e-file account or e-file number that you receive from CRA, or you can use a web access code that we will need to request it. The web access code is a unique code generated from CRA when requesting and e-filing this return. So to generate a web access code, you will just need to complete your return and then you can click on request to WAC and e-file and it will request the code for you. If you would like more information about the web access code, I will suggest you to look in the CRA website. Now, when went back to the form, if you re-click again on the e-file dropdown, you can see there's other forms that can be e-filed. We have the T1135, the T1134, and also the T106. Those form is filled separately from the T2 jacket. If you look closely, you can see that the T1135, 34, and the T106, they all grayed out and unclickable. If you would like to e-file this form, you will need to search for those forms in the search bar on the left and complete this form. So for example, if we go to the T1135, you will need to add the form, complete the form, and once completed, you can go back to e-file, and then you might see the T1135. Now that the T1135 is black and clickable, go ahead and click on it, and here it will ask you to enter your e-file number and password. Normally, those information will auto-populate if you already fill out the e-file numbers previously. Once that done, you can go ahead and click on accept and file this return, and it will directly e-file this return to CRI. Now, if you would like to e-file your T1134, it will be the same procedure on the T1135. So you will first need to search for the form in the search bar on the left, type T1134. Here you can see you have two different forms for the T1134. So you can try to add the first one here. You will need to complete this return. So normally you will see first item. If you would like to add more item, you can click on add new, or you can also directly go to details. Then you will need to complete this return. And if you have to, you can also complete the T1134 sum. And you will need to uh, complete, uh, if you go on the left side and just go a bit down under T1134 sum, you have different sections. You can look at the section and just complete it. And uh, once completed the form, you can go ahead and click on the e-file dropdown and you might see a T1134 clickable now. You can go ahead and click on it. And here, it will auto-populate your e-file number if you already set up. And once uh, you check your e-file number and password, you can go ahead and click on accept and file return. Now, if you would like to e-file your T106, it will be the same procedure as the previous form. So you will have to search for the form and then you might need to add the forms. Here you can add a new item if you would like to or just go on details and then complete this form. 
And then when, once you complete the T106, you can also uh, look at your T106 sum and just to try to complete that one too, if you have to. And once complete, you can go ahead and click on e-file and then you might see the T106 clickable. You can go ahead and click on it and then it will ask your e-file number and password. You can accept and file this return. If you would like to request a business consent, go to e-file and here you can see that the business consent option is grayed out. So to make it a clickable, you will need to first search for the form and complete it. So go ahead on the search bar, type in business consent, and here you can add the business consent. Once you are in the form, you must first check mark this box right here, where it says enable protect e-file of this authorization request. This box will tell Protex that this form should be enabled to e-file. When checked, you can go ahead and look for the form and complete it. When done, you can go to e-file and then request the business consent. Here you can see that the e-file business consent menu come up and will ask you your e-file number and password. And when both are correct, you can go ahead and click on accept and file this return. If you would like to cancel your business consent, you will have to complete the form. So go ahead and search for the form so you can type in cancel, add business cancel. And in the form, you must check mark this box here where it says enable printing an e-file of this cancellation request. When checked, you can have a look to the form and complete it. Once done, you can go ahead and click on e-file and then you can cancel business consent. Here, it will ask your e-file number and password. And if it's correct, you can go ahead and click on accept and file this return. This is the end of this video. For more information on how to protect, you can visit our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.